Welcome back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the, the Wall Twins. Twins. And today we're back on the griddle again to a cooking another game day favorite. Absolutely. And this one is actually similar to a cook we've done before. One of our favorites, the Smash Burger, but with a twist. Thanks to another YouTuber, we got this brilliant idea. Well, he got the brilliant idea. Yeah, we just got it from him. Jumping on his bandwagon. We're doing Smash Burger Sliders. Sliders, little guys. Little fellas, but we're so excited to share this one with you. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, to see our take on these game day Smash Burger Sliders, then stick around while we dig, dig in. in. I can't believe the Wall Twins. They're right there. That's I one know. of them. That's the I'm other the one. one. I'm the, the other one. Like we said, welcome back. However, this is your first time here with the Wall Twins. Welcome. welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything that we do together. Typically, always, typically, always cooking. <laughs> typically, sometimes, always, every time, 60% of the time, it's every all the time. time. Okay, but we are cooking here again, and Brett, these sliders, look, when we saw Dad Life do it. Dad Life, yes, big shout to you for this idea. Absolutely, as soon, and literally, as soon as I was done watching that video, I got on the phone, I won't add them. Dad Life just did these amazing smash burger sliders. We gotta put them on the Blackstone. Absolutely, so we're gonna give our take, but if you've got a chance, go over and check out Dad Life. He's relatively new to the Very YouTube new, world. very new, absolutely. But he's killing it, we enjoy his content, really entertaining and he's got some great ideas also for the Blackstone. So don't forget to check him out. Let him know the Wall Twins sent you. We love to show him some love. Part of the reason I was so excited is because that day I had also seen these King's Hawaiian slider buns. But Brett, let's talk to the people about what we're talking about with the, <laughs> with the groceries. <laughs> well, you just mentioned the uh, these actually slider buns from King's Hawaiian. They are brand new. Definitely excited to try these. They are the sweet buns. And then we are using ground beef and we are using an 80-20. Nice. All right, and then we've got American. American cheese, and these the only toppings here are American cheese, diced onions, and mustard. Right, we will be using mayonnaise for toasting the buns. So the thing is, if you used to follow the Walt with you, we used to not like onions at all. Now we've really, we're have really digging on these things. <laughs> like we got these refined palates that <laughs> like onions all of a sudden. So this is almost crystal style, like the little crystal burgers. These are gonna be small with onions, mustard, and that is it. And we're gonna let the cheese do the talking and the meat do the walking. What? <laughs> <laughs> we'll wow. see how it goes. Wow. But right now we've been letting this go. Now, typically when we're doing smash burgers, we get this thing screaming hot because as soon as you get that smash on and get that sear, those really start cooking up quick. We have these both set on medium because my, my Blackstone not only cooks really hot, but because they're smaller, we wanna make sure we can get to all of them. Before we flip them, we wanna sear, we don't want them burned. Yeah. This is gonna be a relatively simple build. All we're gonna do is we're gonna ball these up here real quick, right here on, on the griddle to make this really, really quick. And just so you can see. Now, when we do regular smash burgers, we're usually like a four or five ounce ball, a little bit bigger. These are gonna be small, closer to three ounces. About, a, we're gonna, Adam's gonna ball them up to about a size of a golf ball. Yeah, maybe, a, a, li maybe a little bit bigger, Okay, but that's about it. And uh, like I said, we're gonna build that right here. So this is really small. So this is just a little bit bigger than a golf ball. And that's all I'm doing. And I'm not packing it tight. That's a relatively, relatively loose ball. So we're just gonna get these going here and then we'll be done. Okay, and so there's plenty here, so I'm just gonna roll this around, just season this up, because really, this is 80-20, so the beef has really good flavor already. It doesn't need a whole lot, a little salt, a little pepino, as they say in Spanish. All right, and there's our meatballs. Those are our meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna be cooking here. Over here, Brett will be actually getting our buns ready. You're going to cook the, the burgers at the same time as the buns because both are relatively quick. Now, before I was able to get my extra large smash that we love, our smasher that we have from Blackstone, I went to Lowe's and picked up the small one. So I appreciate this. I've used this a couple times. It works relatively well. It does get really hot on the handles, but with the smaller, with the smaller burgers, I wanted the smaller press. So I am going to oil up the backside of this to make sure this doesn't stick. Uh, and then we'll go from there. Okay, here we go. And the crowd goes wild. That's not a very hot zone. I'm gonna go ahead and move that one here in just a second. Those are hot. Those are perfect. There we go. All right, so we're just gonna lay down the smash. In fact, I could probably two at a time it. Look at that. Hold I'm it gonna for hold 10, that for 10 for seconds. 10. There you go. And 
we release. All right, pull this one down just a little bit. Oops. Oops, those two got a little close. And that was my big one. I knew I did one a little bit bigger than the others. There you go. All right, look at safety. All right, now that those are smashed, we're gonna go ahead and get them on the flippy. That's a good sear. I forget the back, not as hot. Now we've got this side set on low where we've got the buns toasting. So they're gonna go, the That's burgers nice. will likely be better, will be done before the buns are. So Adam's got the plate over there ready for those. Okay, so last ones, we want that cheese to melt. Okay, let's start pulling these. That cheese is gonna continue to cook. Dude, these look awesome. Oh man, those are some juicy little fellas. All right, so this is 10 little sliders. We could have put easy like 20 or 30 <laughs> on this whole surface. Easy. All right, brother, should we build these? Let's go ahead and kill the let's heat. Let's kill the heat? And yeah, let's yep, build these build boys. Them. Well, what do you know? <laughs> Dad Life, thank you, by the way, for this idea. Absolutely amazing. Listen, and we, we've been talking about it. Seriously, while we were taking the pictures and everything, the beauty shots for this, we couldn't get over how good this smells. It smells like restaurant of burgers. These smell so good. You get that hint of onion in with the meat and that cheese and the Hawaiian rolls, dude. It is so good. And it's not just a good restaurant burger. This is like your mom and pop corner greasy burger smell. Oh, it's totally. absolutely perfect. I made mine a double because I could. Well, we, <laughs> and, we and made so 10 burgers and there were nine buns. And so Adam's like, I'll make mine a double. I'm like, I'll eat three or four either way. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same. But Brett, let's go ahead and dig yeah, into these right. because they look amazing. But like we always say, they can look amazing. Let's, I mean, boom. come on, dude. These come literally, on. literally look legit. I mean, they're so amazing. They're so cute. They these can, are the most adorable things we've made today. They are, as they say, totes adorbs. Totes adorbs. It can smell amazing. Did we mention that they Did smell really good? Yeah, I, I think we, we, we made it. I don't, I don't think we covered we that one, yeah. But if this doesn't taste amazing, then, then I'm gonna cry and never make a burger again. <laughs> and this was all for naught. Cheers, I'll eat to that, my brother. Juicy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Dude, as small as these are. Oh my word. So juicy. My first bite, I had juice just come down the side of my mouth. Can I tell you the key? No. 80-20 beef. 80-20 beef. <laughs> I am so giddy about this one. That is the best burger. Every time I make a smash burger, it's better than the last smash burger that I did. Brett wanted to keep them simple. He said, we're gonna toss a little mustard on the bottom and a little bit of onion and that's it. 
And at first I wanted, no, no, no. But then I thought, no, this is one where less is more. And honestly, that beef is so good on this. Don't do burgers another way. That's yep. it. And That's another it. thing that we actually didn't mention in the groceries, pickles. Oh. Mm -hmm. Last minute I was like, oh wait, we got to put a pickle on top. Right. And it actually is a great compliment to this overall Perfect. taste of this. Perfect. I threw two on mine. It needs two. <laughs> Just saying. It really is the best burger I've ever had. And this is so good. I'm going to always do these. My family's going to be super excited. Brett one takes him for the road. I just let him know. Sorry, dude. These are going to get devoured by the family. But guess what? I have a Blackstone at home. I can do this myself. <laughs> do these <laughs> so kudos to him. But you know what? Thank you, Dad Life. Excellent suggestion. Don't forget to go check out Dad Life. We love the YouTube community. We love our Blackstone YouTube community. There are so many great ones out here and so supportive. We, we love the so cooking community. Thank you so much for sticking around and liking this. Like we always say, man, if you really like this, make sure and give this a thumbs up. This was our favorite burger cook that we've done. Yep. However, if you didn't like it, we understand. Well, we don't understand, but we get it. It's not for everybody. Go ahead and hit the thumbs down two times for us, you know, because, you know. <laughs> we got nothing. But Brett, let's go ahead and get up out of here. Aside from coming to make the best burgers we've ever made and these amazing dad life specials, the smash burger sliders, why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And a don't. Forget to like and subscribe. And grit along.